Can anybody remember Micropro Software's um, M1A1 Tank Platoon, I think it was called? Uh, 20 years ago, probably. I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. But I remember buying that and absolutely just loving it. I remember it being like a tank simulator game. Although, as simulators are these days, it probably wasn't as in-depth. Because, you know, that was like 20 years ago. I mean, we, we were still playing Donkey f***ing Kong back then, you know. Um, so, you know, games were... Um, a bit different back then they were they were new you know they were like brand new kind of genres coming out and anyway yesterday uh, i noticed a tank game a demo from the the next fest the demo expired um last night and i just managed to get an hour's worth of gaming on it before it expired it's called gonna heat pc and it brought back all the memories from playing the uh, microprose game m1 tank it was just like my goodness, I'm back in the tank. It wasn't like World of Tanks and War Thunder. They are arcade games. You know, this is a proper simulator game. Unfortunately, it didn't come with a keyboard overlay and a manual like an old phone book. So, in fact, it had no instructions, really, that I could find. And I didn't have time to look up tutorials online. I just had to dive in because I was aware my demo could expire at any time. So I, I played um, a few of the scenarios. I, I think I played all of them, actually. Now, I'll just give you a little bit of a lowdown on what the game's going to be. It's going to be single player and co-op and PvP, but it's going to be emphasis on single player. It's going to have a full campaign and scenarios for instant action. Now, the, all of that was disabled for me except some of the scenarios. So I dived into the scenarios. In the tanks, well, they're not all tanks. There's um, it's any ground vehicle, really, that from the 80s to where we are now. So any of them could be included in this. I had, I had great fun in the T-72 tank. What a tank that is. Really, really good fun. And you have different scenarios. Uh, tells you what you have to do. And um, a lot of the time I spent dying because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I, I was trying to remember stuff from the old Microprose days. Do I do sabot or heat for this? Or oh, heat's the high explosives, isn't it? You, you would go for the ammo and stuff like that. Sabot just pierces through. I was trying to think of all of that, but then I couldn't find the key that actually switches them. So it was just like, oh, f it, there's a tank, press the f***ing button. So it, it, it degenerated into me just charging across the, the landscape like a dick, um, just shooting at things that saw me way before I saw them. I was like Mr. F***ing Magoo in the tank. Uh, but even, even so, despite all that, I had a blast. I had an absolute blast because all the time I'm thinking, right, let's not cry about this by the time the game comes out there'll probably be a lot of tutorials you'll know what you're doing it'll be way more fleshed out and if i'm having fun now not knowing what the hell i'm doing how much fun am i going to have when i do know what i'm doing so i'm quite excited for this guys because it is a kind of missed genre i mean think about this we had that we did have one steel something i remember um, but that's about it i can't remember a tank game like M1A1, Tank Platoon. And since since that, 20 years, guys. It's it's crazy. Unless I've missed a few. There might have been a few that I've missed. But I, I don't think so. Because I would have wanted to play them. And uh, as soon as I saw this, I was just drawn to it straight away. It's, it's, it's right up my alley, this. So I just thought I'd bring this to your attention. It's coming out in early access in the summer of 2022. So any time now, really, you'll get it in early access. And I think it's well worth picking up if you were a fan of the older type of games. Or if you just like tanks. And I love tanks, mate. Absolutely love tanks. And uh, just to get something a little bit more in-depth than your likes of World of Tanks and your War Thunders is going to be appealing to someone like me. Uh, so when it comes out, I'll do a full uh, review of the early access. Um, hopefully get a key. Might get in early. I don't know. We'll see. But so far, so good. It does have its faults. Um, it's, a, it's a rough version uh, of, of what you're going to get there's a lot of work to be a hell of a lot of work to be done but the ground works there i can see that it has the foundations to be a really decent game it just needs lots and lots of love and tweaks and and all of that stuff because it did look a little bit barren it's just every scenario just was in fields and shit um i'd like to see more buildings and obviously the physics was a bit off as well when a skinny little tree stops a t72 tank what, what are you doing no that, that would have just been flattened so little things like that <clears throat> the ai was a bit um as well so it, it does need a, a little bit of work on it but it plays pretty decent and uh yeah a lot of potential
So, there you go. Um, we're back in the driving seat of a tank after a, a very long absence. Uh, and I'm I'm quite excited about that. I should also, uh, uh, well, not so much apologise, but explain why there hasn't been much uh, content on my channel. Not, it's not about um, there hasn't been many games to cover. I've still got quite a list of things that I'm going to cover. Um, it's, my mother took ill a couple of days ago, and um, so I've been sort of uh, to and fro from this house to that house. And uh, she's she's got COVID. I just found out about an hour ago. Um, I've been. She did a test yesterday and was negative, but she's done another test today and she's positive. Uh, it's probably the BA5 strain, which is very mild. But at her age, you, you can't be, uh, you know, too careful. Like, so I've been nipping over. I'm going over there in about an hour as well, uh, just to make sure that um, she's okay. She she wants some jam. She's obsessed with uh, raspberry jam, so um, I'm going to take some jam over and uh, I'm sure the raspberry jam will cure her yes <laughs> uh, when I'm her age I'll probably want raspberry jam as well so there you go <laughs> I'll see you in the next video guys